Then we got on an airplane. Those are some kick-ass clouds. Wow, dude. Let me ask you. When I got the footage of the sun, we saw something next to the sun. It looked like a littler sun. That was like at 4.30 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Did you see that? I did. That's pretty crazy. I think it was barking. I know it was barking, and it was saying, You're right, Thor. I'm the sun baby. It's not a beer. It's not a plant coming in. It's a little dongle. It's like a dingleberry. Dongle. Hanging off the sun. Yeah. The sun's got like a giant Jupiter-sized dingleberry hanging off it. Nothing worse than, well. They're worse things. Yeah, they're worse things than the dingle. Your own dingleberry? You're like having Nazis shove a glass shaft up your penis hole and smash it. It's worse. That's worse. Dingleberry. Yeah, that's worse. These guys are dicks. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. If you can't handle the woo, you better get out now. It's your problem you don't have an imagination and a sense of humor. Not mine. All right, here at Thor News, we like to fight the foo. And every once in a while, we don't mind brainstorming on the woo. Woo woo! Woo woo! All aboard this train. Come on, we're going to crazy town. We're talking about sun babies. All right, good news. I'm no longer in a funk. I'm now just angry. So it's the perfect time to talk about one of my Colorado discoveries. As me and my buddy Jeff were flying from Texas to Colorado, I happened to notice the sun seemed to have a companion right there hanging by its side. And I happened to note that gee whiz, it seems to be at about the same distance-ish that the solar baby artifact I noted two years ago. Remember my video where I was talking like, Hey, does the sun have a baby? Because the sun had been seen with something hanging off it that looked like a Jupiter eight times the size of the sun. Freaking funky. Creepy. It showed what looked like a baby sun. Gas giant. Either hanging off the sun's umbilical cord or just sitting there sucking juice out or whatever. Or, or a giant spaceship it was making itself look creepy. But it just looked weird, right? And if that wasn't weird enough, if you've been watching the Go's Eve camera for a while, there's always been this one little chunk. It won't go away. It's like that Eddie Murphy skit about taking a poop. There's always that one chunk that comes back. And you're like, what do you want? And the sun's had a chunk that wouldn't go away for a while. And then right before all the filament madness, the Eve goes just shut off. Like, poof, we're out of here. You know? Like, oh, hey, that's, that's weird too. So we got multiple weirdness here in Woo Woo Land. And so when I saw that filament, I was thinking, hey, maybe that stellar titty baby's back. And, it, and it's getting some sun milk. And it's clearly not a lens artifact. It changes. It changes size and it moves a little. But it stays basically in the same area. Anyway, as I was pulling down those still frames daily, getting ready to finish my video, the camera mysteriously broke. And it's still broken to this day. So I just want to say... Based upon observation, now that I've seen the Sun Baby on NASA's own cameras, and with my own two eyes, and you can say that it was a lens flare, it was not. We saw it, we saw it in different spots, and it looked like a little bitty ball that had reached hydrostatic equilibrium right next to the Sun. Now, unless our eyes were both having eyeball flares, I don't know what to tell you. Other than, hey, there's a chance that I was right and that the accretion disk model is total bullshit, and that science is pushing total bullshit into your brain, so you don't question whether or not the sun's having a baby. I mean, the sun seems like a living organism to me. And some people would say, well, the sun doesn't communicate. And I would say, well, I would say giving you life is a form of communication. Science may know what the hell is going on. Astronomy, all the pros, they may have a real clue, and they're not allowed to tell you. Instead, they're being made to sell you bullshit. And so, now that we've seen this baby sun on NASA's own satellites, and I've seen it with my own eyes, I mean, I'd seen it before with my eyes a couple times, but uh, this time I captured it from like 30,000 feet. And the person I was with, I'm like, hey, you see that? And he's like, yes, I see that. It's like a second little baby sun. Cuter sun, you know? Because everything's cuter when it's a puppy. Okay, so that's it, you know? And you can debunk it all you want. You can say the clouds made that ball form hydrostatic equilibrium in your mind. <laughs> It'd be like, no, science is 100% convinced 
Solar systems are created when giant clouds of gas and dust get so heavy in zero gravity they collapse on each other. Wait, wait, what? But the dust makes its own gravity. Wait, what? A gas makes its own gravity. That's a heavy gas, man. Anyway, take it for what it is. Still, this is not something to be scared of. I'd be far more fearful of the corporations that control your government. Because the son and his baby are cool. They're pro-life. They're pro-freedom. The corporations that control your government, not so much. All right, God bless everybody. If you don't like this video, eh, sorry. Dangerous. So dangerous. Flip Mode Squad is dangerous.